Blade Master for Hitman. Of course, Hitman the favorite to win these tournaments every time he can play. We'll see if he's able to play every week or not. And DH for Alex Chen. He's going to be playing Talons, it looks like. Last Refuge. Hitman with the uh, patented Burrow Micro. Look at this guy go. <laughs> In all 30-minute games today. Yeah, this, we've had long games every time we've needed to not have long games. <laughs> the classic. A player's forces are under attack. Circuit TP sold. Shop skipped for Hitman. I haven't seen a lot of Hitman games recently. I've been watching a stream, but most of the time on another monitor, not paying full attention. So I'm wondering if he's uh, done any innovations recently. Strat. I believe he actually used a Windwalk on the Wisp, didn't get the kill, and it got detonated. That's why his mana is so low. Which is actually kind of tough against Demon Hunter. He's going to be out of mana soon? No. DH by circlet and dust. Gets a circlet from the screen camp. Death of God, thank you for the 24 months. Says, hey Carson, why does Neo's ladder stream have 240k viewers? Did I miss something? <laughs> 240k viewers. Oh, two, oh, the VOD. Oh, I don't know, bro. I have no clue. Is that is that true? Where's that ad revenue at? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. By the way, what, did I miss the CS Major today? I must have missed all the games today, right? Alaska State Warcraft 3 team, thank you for gifting a sub to uh, Pen Dragon Torch. Appreciate you. Moving around. This is what Hitman wants, though. I can tell you what Hitman wants because I know. Because he tells me exactly how to play against Demon Hunter, even though I lose to it over and over and over again. He wants the Demon Hunter to be low level. What he's doing right now, the way he describes it, is the Grunt is tethered to the Demon Hunter, and then the Blade Master is tethered to the Grunt. So the Blade is always out of mana burn range, but the Grunt is always tracking where the Demon Hunter is. So we'll most likely see that. Double circle is still viable on this map? I'm not actually sure, Grinchy. Hitman gonna kill the Ancient War, and this is gonna going to further delay the Demon Hunter's creeping. Also, the Demon Hunter getting the most unfortunate pathing in the world. Windwalk at the perfect time! Unbelievable. And Ancient War goes down. And Berserker, ooh, would have fallen if only the Grunt was not ensnared. So a little luck. On Alex's side. Oh, I think it was another three seconds of slow. Yeah. But still, just enough for Hitman to get the kill. Jesus. And Grunt block. This Grunt misses the block. TC, Warmill, Bestiary. Oh, God, this is going to be a 30 minute hit and run game, isn't it, Victor? Oh, no. Alex, why do you have to play Talons? He had 6k live? I don't I don't know what happened to the ladder stream. He might have got front page. Are you kidding me? 
Oh my god. Everything seems to go Hitman's way. And the PC creeping is immediate. And Ancient of Winds. Hitman's towering up. Reinforced, I imagine, on the way. It should be on the way already, but it's not. Team are still on level one. Jesus, lordy, lordy, lordy. And snare is done in five seconds. And then something's dying. And snare done. Now, is Blade gonna get that kill? Yes, he will, because there's no staff. And the TP gonna be forced as well. Oh, Jesus. In snare off cooldown soon. Speed scroll to confirm it. Sweet lord. Oh, grunt. That was block. And Hitman gets all the gravy. Except Alex did get the item there. Reinforced defense is done soon. Second tower done soon. And just when Hitman needs a strong timing, he gets it because he needs to buy time for the towers here. And he does. Salves right before the Quillbees goes down. Wisp going to scout. He's going to see two reinforced towers and... That might be it. Possibly. Alex has an opportunity to maybe run over and straight cancel the Great Hall. Ignore the towers, but... Level 2 Dima Hunter, though. Things looking up. Wisp sees all. Hitman probably gets attack. a Shredder soon. He'll probably creep this and then creep this, get Shredder. Creep this, get another item. Level 3, Wind walks away. And gives the TC the rest of experience to get level 3 himself. Hawk is sticking around though, so that Wind walk will not be... Great. Master Talon's almost online. And Hitman sees all. Oh, the Hawk saw the blade. Oh, he gets the fairy fire off. Nicely done. Blade, though, just trying to avoid the wind walk. Hitman might be able to just win this fight, actually. He's avoiding the fight because it's what you're supposed to do, but with the advantage he has, he could just fight, probably. Oh, doesn't land the ensnare against the mana burn. Might actually get mana burned again because of that critter. No, never mind. Is under forces are under attack. Blade attacking some wisps at the same time. Be very impressed. Oh, Alex actually is is multitasking on point. Nicely done. I was gonna say it's very impressive. He doesn't lose a wisp here, but he indeed did not lose the wisp. Hey man, just running around. Great hall's almost up. And TP purchase, just when Hitman's going to need it most. Might eat another mana burn. No, the creep blocks him! Unforch. Oh, not the perfect shockwave. Didn't hit that talent as well. And one raid are going to be surrounded. Unless Hitman wants to go back in. And the expansion's going to be mining. Okay, one raider will pay the price. Hitman gonna be fine with that trade, of course. Shop at the expo. He'll soon be going tier three. Soon be getting a second B series plus one attack for the Bat Riders. And then we'll talk about more of what Hitman's gonna do in the future if he does all those things I just said. More Cyclone. Cyclone for your Cyclone. One for the shop, though. Two raiders split off. The ones with Fairy Fire on them to scout for an expansion. Interesting play. I guess use them for something. 
And they're gonna force Alex back. And Hitman does get the Shredder, and he does go tier three. And look to see a second bestiary down here soon, and a Spirit Lodge. And plus one attack, as soon as he has the Lumber for all those things. And Moonwalk ties the two Raiders, the Grubby play. Splitting off a Raider or two to the Night Elf base. And four towers, is it doable for Alex? With the Burrow, I'd say absolutely not. Without the Burrow, I'd say maybe? And as soon as Alex wants to go aggressive, Hitman is just going straight into the base. He could even grab some sappers if he really wanted to. Ooh, nice little control there from Alex. Buying a lot of time for himself, importantly. Hitman gets spiked barricades. Helps against the heroes. But Hitman could just go straight for the main base if he really wanted to. And Alex calls the GG. 1-0 for Hitman. And uh, that's how you play that strat. That's definitely how you play that strat. We didn't get to see the follow-up, but maybe we will uh, in game two. But we might not see Demon Hunter this time for Alex. And Autumn Leaves will be map number two. Alex had a choice between Concealed Hill, blah, 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 Concealed Hill, and Autumn Leaves. And he chose Autumn Leaves, which does tell me more likely Talons again than a Keeper because Keeper. I mean, Concealed Hill is kind of the ultimate keeper map, is it not? Is it not? Game number two. Autumn leaves, here we go. Hitman in the bottom left, upper right, Alex. Chen. Pato. Praying this is a 2-0, I'm sure. Praying Hitman doesn't run around too much with Raiders. Because that man's got to go to bed. <laughs> Hope for his sake he doesn't have to be up too early. Blade Master again. And we'll be Keeper. Keeper this time around for Alex. Okay, so my Concealed Hill prediction was wrong. Not the first time, not the last. What is this team, by the way? What is Alex's team? I don't recognize that. I recognize this. <laughs> it's a, a sight to behold, I guess. Yeah. Dude didn't even wear his dust jersey at Rara Land either. Son of a gun. Alex Chen creeping. For Hitman the Peon. Late. Or is it? I don't know. He didn't actually attack the Great Hall. Is he going to now? No. Okay, so Hitman's not doing the Peon pull thing anymore. I guess Night Elves figured out a counter for it. I remember the counter being putting the Ancient War here as opposed to here. Because then your Ancient War gets more attacks in, I suppose. So Hitman forced to start creeping. That's what evolved. But this Peon needs to live and needs to sit right here. That's his home for the rest of the game. Claws and Circlet. The best item for both players. Benny back 313. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate you. This is Big Cars and what up? How you doing? R.I.P. to Bernie. Matt. Legend. A player's forces are under attack. And circlet purchased. Yep, yeah, circlet purchased. In the shop. 
Hitman over for another claws. Alex kills the scout peon. It's gonna run across the map. Wandering dragons is the team. Okay. We are flaming dragons. Are you guys flaming or wandering? A player's forces are under Not all the wander are lost, guys, okay? But I'm lost. Navigating what team Alex Chen is on, okay? And what team Hitman's on. Gets gloves. Not bad. The walls. Lightning shield. Actually pretty nice for a play on the burrows later on. You can stop repair from being a possibility. All that good stuff. You guys, you guys have seen this before. Master. A little bit item starved, but if he gets slippers, he's definitely popping that speed scroll. Imagine dragons as a team, yeah. Slippers and the tome as well? I hate this guy. I hate this guy. He's the worst. This guy's the luckiest son of a gun in the biz. Two shots the item. looking with his level 3 now for that tree. I mean, even if the tree was already finished, he would just kill it with the blade alone, wouldn't he? But this is like literally one base, one Rax hunt, isn't it? I mean, we've seen that strap before. Not unheard of. Deeper. Level 3, but completely oom. And that's just because he's used so much more mana because everything was back at home for some reason when he was creeping. I don't get it. I don't get it one bit. All the wisps are safe, so I love this base build from Alex. A player's forces are under attack. Now, as soon as the keep is level three, or should be, he's four XP off. He's oh, Hitman's gonna two shot this. Okay, three shot. He's still gonna cancel it though. Jesus. Salve, Windwalk, run back in. Beastier Spirit Lodge. Shadow Hunter. Brute Strength. It's still Brute Strength, right? Yeah, they didn't change the name again on me. Blake gets a clarity. And if the keeper doesn't sit here forever and ever, that blade's just gonna do the same thing again. War Mill as well. Alchemist now picked up. A player's forces are under a town under siege. Yeah, Blade. I mean, he's just gonna eat. He's just gonna eat the entangle and cancel it. What are you supposed to do? Look at the item. You used all up all your luck against Alex when you're gonna need it against Pato Hit, man. What are you doing to yourself? Oh, speaking of luck, some going Alex's way. Maybe Hitman. Overestimating. Nope. Did not calculate it. Oh, first Shaman's out. Purge surround potential. But Hitman not doing that. He should know the Keeper so far away that he could have gone for that play. Speed scroll, purge, and surround the Alchemist. Not an impossible play for the likes of Hitman there. And Blade just tracking the Keeper. And is he just going to run back in and cancel the tree with only his Blade again? Even Hitman in this stage of the game being very defensive. As he should be. Waiting for that second Shaman. Waiting for the third Shaman. Oh yeah, I, I was talking to Hitman about this yesterday. He was saying... He was doing all the math on what was the best for the Shaman mana count. If you go for a one Shaman into Adept, two Shamans into Adept, three Shamans into Adept. Adept into one Shaman. What you end up with... Uh, which way you end up with the most Shaman mana. I think he figured out it was three Shamans into Adept. That's what you're supposed to go. Oh. And Shaman... Trying to save it, but not. Hitman doesn't want to lose a unit. But he does lose the Shaman. And the tree? Not cancelable, question mark? If only that shadow had level two before, he would have saved that shaman. A player's forces are under attack. And 
counter expo coming up. Well, Hitman safely creeps right next to it. Unless Alex were to go all the way around, he wouldn't be able to cancel it. But this is a late expo. I mean, it's going to be nine minutes by the time this tree is mining. That is super duper late. Stone and Berserker, maybe? A player's forces are maybe not. Attack. He's got Windrider. Who needs it? And Hitman finds the AP, and he can cancel the gold mine. Oh my lord. This is looking like a GG timing. It's been a good run, but I don't think Alex has really any shot to hold here. But Hitman, with the low grunt and the low shaman, is actually respecting this. I'm surprised. He could have just purged the hunt and killed it on level 3. And then a GG. Oh, the Blade Master. Is Blade dead? Speed scroll, wind walk, it is dead! Alright. Hitman. Making some mistakes. Maybe he was wise to run away in that case, but uh, was not wise to keep the blade around. Expansion? Expansion's gonna be cancelled now. Okay, Alex. Alright, sorry I counted you out. Making some plays. Town is under siege. Definitely making some plays, and it's cancelled. Right. Hitman on the back foot for the first time this series. A player's forces are under attack. Got a level three though. So Hitman was missing. He's gonna re-expand, as it seems. I think he's already queued it up, based on the gold. Hitman needs heal scroll as well. With accuracy, pretty excellent. Because Alex not gonna be able to go tier three anytime soon. Not with the pace of this game. Hitman fighting without a blade. Who who needs him? Hero sucks anyway. Am I right, guys? And Huntress Archer goes down. Alchemist gets level three though, off of Serpent Wards. Which is a nice upgrade. If only he could clarity up, should definitely start clarying up. And the blade can actually bring some items in once he's out of the altar. Double mana pot clarity. Maybe stop by and get a heal scroll. Oh, Kodo even got a neat, so that was two Huntresses in our archer, assuming this Kodo can devour. And the TP. Uh, lightning shield. Detonated. Hitman just diving for the tree. Gonna lose the Wind Rider and probably two grunts for it. Plays on the way back. He did get the double mana pot. But yeah, there's the two grunts that go down. Just on time, Shadowheart. It's level 4, though. That's level 2 heal wave. Is there a lightning shield available? Seems like this shaman has enough. Yeah. Life, though, exposed. Counter expansion. 80%. So much mana on the shadow. Blade could be past that Hellstone. Oh, should be past that Hellstone. Oh, Alex could have blocked with the Alchemist and got that Blade kill and stayed in the game. But Hitman chopping a lot down. And every archer is falling. Oh, maybe another Entangle, though. 71 mana. Alex holds his Expo, though. Impressively enough, holds his expo. That's pumping archers. Hitman needs mana and health. And a push of vulnerability, I would say. Expo finally up. Hitman's expo 13 minutes nearly. We thought Alex's was late. Do, 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 do. We'll see if he can hold on, though. Forty-eight versus forty-three. The better heroes in Hitman's hands currently, both in level and in just heroes. 
Well, using his shaman mana like he doesn't care. Seems like he doesn't need to have a care in the world right now, though. He's got the push vulnerability. He's got the shadow mana. got the heal scroll. And the alchemist is going to be forced into his potion. And heal scroll. Yep, that makes sense. Heal wave. Trying to save that raider. Won't be able to. Alchemist this time around. Fool me once, shame on uh, me. Uh, fool me twice, can't get fooled again. Alchemist will not be fooled twice. It will not be fooled again. Full credits for CSI Miami. Was that the one? Was it CSI Miami? I don't know. One of the CSIs. Shadow almost level 5. Probably level 3 heal wave. But no mana. Hitman just cannot break this expansion, can he? Oh, Entangle in two, one. But he's probably going to use Potion immediately as soon as he gets Entangled. Oh, he uses it on the Raider. That may be a wise choice. Level three heal wave now. The blade is going to be nearly full HP. And Purge Keeper. Not long for this world. And Blade ties as well. GG is called. Hitman's in the grand finals against Ponto. Nice try to Alex. Very plus plus for Alex. Quarterfinals. Or semifinals, rather. Not a bad showing. Beating Ark. Beating Daya. And beating Yo Jedi. Pretty good from Alex. But Hitman, the big favorite here. Goes through. And now, the question becomes, is Hitman the big favorite against Ponto? Against the very tired Ponto, perhaps. But in general against Ponto, I don't know. I mean, me as a... A friend and teammate, I do worry sometimes when Hitman has to play. Pato, Hunter, these sorts of players. These top NASA Night Elves. Look at all of our games today. And before this, we even had Neo vs. OC Drummer. It's been a long day. Feels long, at least. I guess this stream's been going about the average length of a weekly cup. It's going on about four hours. And we'll take a short break before jumping into the Grand Finals, I suppose. Haven't heard anything from the players yet, so three-minute break, and we'll be in for the Grand Finals. Potter vs. Hitman. BRB. <laughs> 